three different forms. First is more intense rainfall. And since there's a big drainage basin here around 4th and 3rd Avenue, where the whole water comes down from the park slope, you have flash flooding on the streets. That's one issue, and that's expected to increase. I can give you the numbers for those who are interested, but let's just leave it with that. The second form is that we have storms here in the winter, so-called northeaster storms, and in the summer or in fall, hurricanes or tropical storms, sometimes the milder forms called tropical depression. They bring in from the swirl that rotates around the eye of the storm, they push in the water as a storm surge. And that storm surge gets higher and higher the more intense the storm is. Uh, we have natural tides, and I printed out the tide schedule of this morning, which is for the Battery Park, because we don't have uh, one here in the Columbus Canal. And we are right now here, just a little bit before 12 o'clock here, which means we almost approach here low tide in an hour or so. Uh, if we were here last night, uh, it would have been almost five feet higher. So the natural tides here are about five feet up and down uh, twice a day. When a storm surge comes, that can be anywhere from a few feet to the most extreme for a category four in this area would be 30 feet. Then that superimposes itself on those tides. So if it's just a few feet, like it was four feet for Irene, that was, when was that? In August? End of August. End of August, yeah. You had about four feet. So it depends very critically whether that storm arrives during low tide or at high tide. Irene arrived perfectly on high tide. I printed that out too. And so you see what it happens here. That is the storm surge. The yellow and the blue you have to add together and put on top of this green curve, which are the tides that would be only due to the sun and moon the astronomical type. So you put this weather driven on top of the green curve and you got this. So instead of the normal high tide level, which is here called the maximum astronomical tide, the upper red line, you were up here and so you got of course some storm surge flooding. 